My name is uh, Morten Buan. I'm the vice president in uh, European Federation of Hard of Hearing. And I am the president of the Norwegian Organization for Hard of Hearing. Um, my topic today is to talk about the corona pand pandemic and uh, the challenges with this period with the, the corona. We know that the pandemic presents major challenges, but also new opportunities. The infection situation <coughs> with regard to COVID-19 present us with great challenges, and it is important to follow the health authorities' recommendations on how you and those around you can stay healthy and contribute to infection control. Due to the corona pandemic, HLF, a hard of hearing organization in Norway, has also had to reduce its activities. In line with the health authorities' recommendations, all of HLF's courses and activities are extremely limited and we work to create good digital solutions. The infection situation also affects HLF's voluntary hearing pairs. This means that our hearing pairs must guide and assist via email, telephone, SMS, and that HLF advises against outreach activities and open offices in public places. Home visits should only be made to take care of life and health in uh, such Situations the health authorities order for pro protective infection measures must be followed in order to safeguard all hygiene considerations. And we encourage everyone to contribute to the national effort to limit the spread of the coronavirus. Care and maintenance of hearing aids is therefore to a greater extent left to each individual, family members and others. On HLF's websites, we have made subtitled self-help videos that can be used. HLF also made a separate transparent mode piece for our members where oral reading is possible. Then a bit about the Norwegian Association of Hard of Hearing, HLF. We are a national NGO with 11 districts and we have 170 local associations. We have about 67,000 members, hearing aid users, people with many ear disease, tinnitus, cochlear implant, children and their parents. We are the largest association for people with disabilities in Norway and we are the largest hard of hearing organization in the world. We have our own youth organization and HLF we own a national upper secondary school with 68 hard of, he hard of hearing students. And we have a rehabilitation center for hard of hearings and a national consultative services for hard of hearing students. And in HLF, it's 600 hard of hearing volunteers helping directly one to one. They are trained by HLF. About our peers, our volunteers. In this period, HLF had given the peers clear face masks with windows for lip reading, antibacterial hand desinfication, and wet wipes. This, uh, our peers are recognized by the national and local authorities, and they are financed with a support from the Norwegian government. In these times with the COVID-19, we have got some extra financial support to buy face mask, antibacterial hand desinfication, and wet, wet wipes. Our uh, central district and local, lo local associations. 
most of the board meetings and information are now held in Microsoft Teams or in Zoom platform. And uh, in these days, many of our local associations will use also electronic solution for their annual meetings. And uh, this month, most of the, our district association will use an electronic solution for their annual meetings. For us in HLF, it's important that we always have an interpreter. An interpreter is absolutely necessary in meetings with hard of hearing people. Important to see, for us it's important to see the speaker's face in the meetings. Then you are able to read lips as an additional support to the interpreter's text. But it is a challenge that different text systems are used on different electronic platforms. We would prefer an one universal standard. In these times with uh, Corona, we had to make the dig digital homeschooling. And to solve that challenge, we had to bought cameras for our classrooms. We have bought new computers for our classrooms. We continue using our auto technical equipment uh, in the digital environments. And we have also um, obtained that the class has followed the same curriculum as before COVID-19. This solution facilitates a combination of both physical attendance and attendance from home via digital platforms. So we have so-called hybrid lectures, combined digital and physical lectures. Students, that those who can, physically are present and follow the lecture as usual. They have audio that are streamed to the students' hearing aids via Phonak Roger system. And the students at home both see and hear the teacher as well as the other students. Despite staying home, students are still active participants in the lecture, participating with both video and audio. During the digital homeschooling sessions, the teacher is physically present at the school, a standardized system encompassing PCs, cameras, and sound solutions ensures good functionality for everyone involved. And so a bit about our consultative services. This division provides autological counseling to young students and their teachers. They coach, educate professionals and education professionals the transition to digital platform has increased the participation rate among professionals working with the hard of hearing students. Transition of competence, the demand for digital selling sessions is rising and therefore the level of competency is using di digital platforms. Then students counseling. Some sessions are conducted with the preference, the presence of open captioning. Sessions are conducted both in groups and one to one. And we have individ individual services, educational guidance, counseling, and follow up of clients is conducted on suitable digital platforms. Information to counter the corona pan pandemic, we provide information as to how education professionals run facilitate a hard of hearing friendly digital environment. And we have a chat service, new and highly accessible channel for direct communication to generate leads from the target audience has been established on our website. And how about our rehabilitation center for hard of hearing? Thanks to our rapid transition from physical to di digital platforms, we have been able to operate at full 
capacity. This would not have been possible without the following technical remedies. We have Zoom video conferencing, leading video conferencing platform with an easy login procedure and easy to use interface. It's open captioning, subtitles, subtitles are always present in our Zoom meetings, readably, readily available on our screen. OBS Studio broadcasting software used to organize our visual elements according to our needs, video feed, open captioning, PowerPoints, etc. And important, dedicated technical support. Clients with technical issues may call a support line for help. And in these times, the success of our technical ad advancement have prompted many ambitious ongoing work in progress projects. We had type boot, artificial intelligence providing sub subtitles for any computer audio by default. We have the project we call Blow Talk, wireless speech to text reporting software powered by Bluetooth. And we have a project national di digital e-learning platform Concelling otology patients and their relatives in hearing aid know-how. And we have a project we have called Ikerup, Don't Trout, educational marketing campaign to educate relatives of seniors with hearing loss. We have a project, Accessibility Facilitating Program. It's an educational marketing campaign to educate organizations on how to make di digital platforms more accessible for hard of hearing employees and clients. And at last, we have learning in three dimensions. In the near future, we will implement 3D models more into our curriculum. And at last, the Malawi project. For some years, Briskeby and HLF have a cooperation between us and Montfort in Malawi. It's a project with the focus on children with hearing loss, early intervention for education and social life in Malawi and Norway. From Norway to Malawi, it's important for us that learners with hearing loss in Malawi will have a better access to inclusive and adopted education. The audiologist in, in Norway communicates with the hearing clinic in Malawi through the internet according to a set timetable to follow up and give advice to the screening work. And from Malawi to Norway, make the learners in Norway more confident in speaking English and learn more about Malawi as a country. So teachers in Norway will have contact with teachers in Malawi and arrange for dialogues between the learners in both countries and arrange for exchange of emails between le learners in both countries. And they will also give lectures. That's all from HLF. Thank you.